Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. I am Chad Lyons, and I'm joined by my wife, Megan, and we run Epoet Digital Services. Now, believe it or not, not everyone who visits your site is going to walk away as a new patient. And that's okay. Some of your patients take longer to move through the buying cycle than others, and some people are just browsing. No matter the situation may be, though, you want to make sure that you capture their email address so that you can continue to communicate and offer value to them. There's two reasons why you should be emailing your patients and prospects. The first is that email, more than any other form of online marketing, consistently delivers a high return on investment. The second is because 70% of people actually prefer to get brand communication via email over any other form of communication. In short, you should be emailing your patients because that's what they want and it's what they'll respond to. There are a few different ways that you can capture an email address. The first is simply to have a sign-up form, asking people to subscribe to your newsletter. That's pretty standard, and it's somewhat effective. But the better way is to offer something of value in exchange. This is your enter your email address to download this white paper type of offer that I'm sure you're familiar with. Now I know these can be annoying, but here's the thing. If your patient really needs the information that's behind that sign-up, and if it provides legitimate value, you'll get your signups. Another thing that you can try is a joint venture or a co-promotion. In this arrangement, you develop a list with a shared partner. For example, a partner might promote a piece of content that you're giving away for free, meaning in exchange for an email address, of course, or share a discount that you're offering. Of course, these arrangements work best when you and your partner serve the same market. A few other details about getting new email addresses. First, in order for you to add an email address to a marketing or subscriber list, the user has to give express consent. That means that they understand that they're opting in to receive ongoing communication from you, and they know exactly what they're getting in return, that is, your value offering. Second, I highly recommend a double opt-in. So what's a double opt-in? Well, it's when someone enters their email address to get your material, and then they receive an automated email message asking them to confirm their subscription. I know that might seem counterintuitive. What if they just change their minds? Well, that's kind of the point. When it comes to building your list, you want to focus on quality over quantity. Also, email lists that use double opt-in have a 250% higher click-through rate. So not only are you being respectful of your patients, you're also pre-qualifying them. So let's jump right into the meat and talk a little bit about the anatomy of an effective email. First things first, the most important part of your email is the subject line. More than anything, the subject line contributes to the open rate the percentage of recipients who actually open your email. Your subject line should be relevant and timely. This is not so different from the heading for a Facebook ad. You want to capture your audience's attention and pre-qualify them. The next most important part of your email is a clear call to action. And when I say clear, I mean that it should be immediately obvious and impossible to miss. Think about how you react to marketing emails. You don't read them word for word, do you? I mean, not unless you're extremely interested in what it's saying. Most of the time, we just skim over it, maybe taking an extra second or two to read something that really stands out. The reality is that you have one second to engage the user before they delete or archive your email. Understanding this behavior, the very first sentence or heading of your email should set up the benefits of the offer. Then you should include short, clear headlines and a small paragraph format. Use bullet points whenever possible. Okay, so you've exchanged something of real value and gathered several email addresses. You've crafted a great email and sent it out. But how do you measure whether or not that email campaign was actually successful? There are three metrics that you want to watch. First is the open rate. This indicates how many people actually open your email. Next is the click-through rate. This tells you how many people clicked on your call to action and made it to your landing page. Last is the conversion rate. This is how many people that made it to your landing page ended up taking that final action, whether that be setting an appointment, scheduling a consultation, what have you. Now these are really convenient metrics because they tell you exactly what's wrong. If you have a low open rate, then you need to improve your subject line. If you have a low click-through rate, then you need to sweeten your call to action. And if you have a low conversion rate, then you need to revisit your landing page. As you monitor and maintain your email list and implement changes as needed, you have a real opportunity to turn your warm leads into patients. Again, email is the top performer when it comes to your online marketing strategies. If there's anything you'd like to learn more about, anything that you feel like maybe we didn't go deep enough or even overlooked, please reach out to us.
And of course, if you feel like we can help you in your online marketing efforts, we would love to hear from you. You can reach us at hello at epoet.com or via the links below. Take care.